Hello, I'm Robert Wolf. Here we are at GDC 2023. We're here with Jose Emilio Munoz Lopez, and we are looking at the ray tracing and variable rate shading demo at the ARM booth. So um, first, I guess, Jose Emilio, tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do at ARM, and then let's dive into uh, what you're showing here at the demo. All right, yeah, I'm very happy to be here. I'm Jose Emilio, I'm a staff software engineering ARM. So in my team, we do everything to do with graphics research. We explore new interesting use cases and then help developers get the most out of our hardware. And we're showing it here in a technical demo that we developed in my team, but also in a real game from our uh, colleagues at Tencent Games. So what is ray tracing? In ray tracing, we're basically simulating how the light behaves in the real world. And that allows us to achieve very photorealistic effects in a scene. Uh, over here, I can also enable and disable ray tracing. You can see the sort of difference that ray tracing makes uh, by adding reflections and shadows uh, in different sort of detail in the scene. And if I enable the animation, you can see that this is all updating in real time and running at around 60 frames per second, uh, something between uh, 50 now, but as we go around and uh, test different areas and different angles, you will see that it will uh, yeah, uh, speed up to 60 in some cases. Uh, here we're showing refractions through the glass. Uh, we have uh, shadows that you will see updating dynamically on the wall here. And because we have a light that is attached to the spaceship and as it moves around, uh, everything updates in real time. And you can maybe achieve some of these effects without ray tracing, but ray tracing makes it easier, but also more accurate. And uh, because we have hardware acceleration in our latest uh, uh, GPU, Immortalis G715, uh, that means that it's very feasible and, and very possible to add, add this sort of realistic effects to your game nowadays. So let's talk a little bit about the chipset in here and the Immortalis GPU. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, yeah, so this is our latest GPU. It is also our first GPU with hardware acceleration for ray tracing. It also includes a variable ray shading, which I can show you another demo later on. And what it achieves is uh, it brings uh, acceleration to ray tracing. Until now, we maybe could do that with software, but it was much slower. Uh, actually, last year here at GDC, we had a demo, but we were uh, showing software ray tracing, and we were achieving like 30 FPS. But you can see this year, with our acceleration, we can reach up to 64 FPS in this demo. Amazing, cool. All right, so let's go into that other demo then. You were talking yeah. about the uh, ray shading, right? Yeah. So in this case, we are we have a demo with a different scene called Sponsa, where we have a global illumination, we have reflections and light shading. And with variable ray shading, the idea is that we can select areas in the screen where we can uh, do lower resolution shading and still uh, achieve the same sort of uh, quality. Uh, by doing this, we are uh, saving frames per second. So for example, if I stop the camera over here, and I point you to the frames per second counter. With variable ray shading, we have 50 frames per second, but without variable ray shading, we go down to 30 or 40. But if you look closely at the colors, there is no difference in the actual rendering. So this is achieving like 50% performance improvement with no visual uh, impact. And the developer will need to uh, define this sort of mask where green means that we can shade at a lower resolution and red that we need to keep high level of detail in these areas. And we need to do this uh, uh, differently for each effect. But you can see that, that the results are definitely worth it when it comes to performance savings. Wow, yeah, I mean, I'm looking at this. I don't know how good the camera is picking this up, but I'm looking at this, it's pretty amazing. So, um, I mean, I'm seeing you show you the know, spaceship demo was really cool with the, uh, you know, uh, and then we have this demo here, but why am I seeing this first person shooter? Yeah, in here, this is the arena breakout from Tencent Games. So this is using Unreal Engine. Uh, so the demo that I showed earlier is showing mainly uh, our own uh, framework for Vulkan. But here we're using Unreal Engine and Tencent Games are experimenting and adding ray tracing effects directly on a real game. And you can see that the frame rate is still very good. So the effects and the, the demos that you just showed right now are being applied in this game right now? Yeah, I can show you, for example, uh, over here, we had some uh, reflections on the floor and on the walls and you can even see the character being reflected here on the wall i can oh, wow. also enable and disable it with this button here uh, there you go oh very cool. so this is on and this is off yeah yeah and so i mean usually you're traditionally used to seeing the games as the off yeah and now with this whole rate shading and everything is you can do a lot more yeah exactly it's all about making it more immersive and more photorealistic you can see here on the floor as well oh, some amazing. of the light reflections Oh, the light from the roof? Yeah. 
the ceiling is reflecting on there. Very cool. All right, cool. So I guess in conclusion, you know, maybe you can give us what, what are some of the takeaways here? Highlights, three bullet points, takeaways on, on uh, what we just saw. Takeaways, ray tracing is now re uh, real possibility on mobile devices. You have a mobile game, you have some frame budget for real uh, realistic effects. Maybe consider using ray tracing. We have a best practice guide to make sure that you're using it very efficiently. We have some advice how to make shadows, reflections and refractions uh, more optimal. But it's all uh, yeah, a matter of profiling and talking to us if you have any questions and we can help you get ray tracing on a real game like this. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. For the folks at GDC, we've actually had a great opportunity to hand out some of these uh, NFC reader cards. I'm, I'm not sure if you'll be able to focus in on that, but if you'd like access to any of these particular resources, you can go ahead and scan that QR code. We'll make sure uh, that you get, get that going. Uh, Jose Emilio, thank you so much. Hey, that was pleasure. awesome. Great really demo. Thank you all at home, and uh, we look forward to seeing you at the next GDC. Yeah.